Here we are. We are loving it. Sick here in Tamworth in the New England district of New South Wales. Just a few hundred metres down the road there is the electorate office for the local MP, Barnaby Joyce. But Barnaby himself, while we're looking after his patch, is in Canberra and he joins us live now. Thanks for joining us, Barnaby. Kenny, you have, Chris, you have, uh, we, we should swap, mate. <laughs> well, we have. We have. You stay there. You have Canberra. You live down there in the bubble. I'll love it up here. I tell you what, it's wonderful. Now, actually, I wanted to ask you straight up about the reason that I've come to this area, apart from doing the shows, is I've been involved in some community consultations with Indigenous people, mm -hmm. especially in this part of the world, about how they feel about the Indigenous voice. Now, you were one of those yep. politicians who said we shouldn't have an Indigenous voice. It's a third chamber. And you were honest enough later to say, actually, that was wrong. We shouldn't call it a third chamber. And so I admire your honesty there and the correcting that record. But do you think, do you support a voice for Indigenous Australians now? Or do you think this is an idea that uh, might uh, not proceed from the government? Uh, I'd like, and I've already uh, tabled the bill. I, I think we should take the next step, uh, Chris, and which is not a voice to the parliament, but a voice in the parliament, regional senators. By legislation, even under the current constitution, the Australian constitution, I think it's, uh, um, I can't remember, chapter one, part 11, but don't hold me to that. It says that uh, senators will be elected as a state, the state, as one electorate, until the parliament otherwise decides, which is code for legislation, not referendum. So you could create six regions within New South Wales and rather than having 12 senators per state, for which we currently have 11 senators for Sydney, that's where they all live, um, you have six regions, two senators per region, like the United States, which is actually based on, and uh, three regions go up in one election, three regions go up in the next. Now, why is that important? Because up in the north of Queensland, in the Gulf, in the Cape, in the western parts of New South Wales, in the Kimberley, uh, in the northern, and above that, in uh, the northern part of Western Australia, uh, you would have, you'd have to have... Aboriginal senators. We call them Aboriginal in our area. Aboriginal senators. And um, you, they would have be incredibly powerful and actually be in the Senate. Uh, and no doubt the political parties would move that's their... A, that, that's a different idea. Okay. And it's an interesting idea. We'll keep talking about it at another time. But in the meantime, your Indigenous Affairs Minister, Ken Wyatt, is pushing ahead with The Voice. Do you think it'll get up? Uh, I think that we have to recognise the, the role and of historically of the Aboriginal people in Australia and, and make sure that it's crucial. 12% uh, of my electorate is Aboriginal and uh, that's just as many as the farmers. So, you know, when you think of regional areas, you think, oh, well, they're farming. I've got a farm, obviously, so I'm on the land, but um, just as many Aboriginal people as there are farmers, so, you, you, you know, that... And there are issues pertinent that we need to address. And so any way we can do that in a better form, uh, I would support. And I think that we are... And it's not as if we're completely lacking. I think we're miles ahead of where we were, say, three or four decades ago. Uh, and we're, we're ahead of where we are two decades ago. But we've just got to keep on doing a better job. And if this helps, I'll support it. Yeah, good on you. I appreciate that because that's what it's about, trying to make sure we do a better job. Now, uh, talking about this area, there's a bloke who lives, uh, I think, northwest from here, who used to be a deputy prime minister of this country like you were. His name is John Anderson. He wants to come back into Parliament and through the Senate, putting himself up for Senate pre-selection next month. Do you want him back in Parliament? Look, I think John has done a remarkable job for our nation. I think he is a person of authentic faith, like his religion is absolutely uh, core to his being. Uh, he's a very dignified person. Um, he and Julia uh, are a wonderful couple and, and wonderful kids. But you've got to be really careful. If I, if I want John Anderson to not get anywhere, you know what I do? Endorse him. Now, I might also say that it's, Senator it's Fiona exactly. Nash, who's my former deputy, former deputy, is also uh, standing for the Senate. And um, uh, Fiona will put a stiletto through my head if I start suggesting who I'm going to vote for. Oh, not that I yeah, get it. It's going to be vote, fascinating so to watch. To I've spoken it. to... Oh, sure, right. But I've spoken to some people in your electorate now who have heard from both Fiona Nash and uh, John Anderson. Uh, obviously, the lobbying is going on. That's good. That's how democracy works. But uh, while you're not going to endorse either of them, do you think one of them will get the spot? Yeah, of course. I, I think that someone's going to get the spot. And there's Ross Goodell, who's the former director of the National Party, and... Obviously, you've got three incredibly good candidates there, and it's, 
it's going to be a, a look. It, the politics, the best day of the races is pre-selections because you're, everybody's on a horse, and it's fascinating to to watch uh, how people present themselves, what their tactics are, what they offer the party. Uh, but it's you know this sounds trite, but it's a great thing for the National Party to have such high credentialed candidates. You've got another one just to the west of you there. I, I think uh, Mr O'Keefe from Gunnedah is also going to be standing. So um, you just belittle... If you pick one publicly, you're belittling the others. And so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'll, I, I have uh, my views and I'll keep my views to myself because I respect all of them enough to say that I'm not going to trash them by saying, well, you know, I thought about you and I wouldn't, I'd I wouldn't support you. Fascinating stuff. We'll watch.